And now it's time for the third episode of Quantum Leap, The Impossible Dream, created and written by Jill Arroway, with guest star Jennifer Runyon as Carmen. Hope you guys like it. Carmen, you did nothing wrong, except maybe trust someone who turned out to be a sleazeball. Thanks, sis. I know you mean well. But I have to do what I have to do. Do you have enough money? Yes. I'll be fine. She doesn't. Ziggy says this is probably where Carmen's life as crime starts. You have to stop this. I know. I have to go. I have to do what I have to do. Good luck. I'll scout ahead. Ziggy, send her me on Gary's house. This is the place. I can see Gary now. He's at his computer. Will do, Barbie. Sometime I forget I can walk right through his desk. Oh my word, he's cataloging more pictures, all of young girls less than half his age. But I don't see Carmen. Ugh, I don't want to look at this. I'm looking away. This isn't something I should see. Barbie, Lawrence would have a field day with this guy. He's a sleazeball, all right. In fact, he's worse than a sleazeball. He's got dozens of victims, maybe more. Oh boy. What if you could leap into the past, still facing mirror images that were not your own, still driven by an unknown force to change history for the better, and still guided by a hologram that only you could see and feel? But now you are also able to leap home. We've solved the problem. We live the impossible dream. What is Shelly doing? <gasps> Careful. She almost saw me. Oh, God, stay hidden. She's talking to someone. Someone I can't see. Okay, she must be on the phone. She must have one of those in-ear things with a hidden microphone. Okay, I gotta get closer. I've gotta hear what she's saying. I hear what you're saying, but we're running out of time. We have to come up with something right now. I tell you, you can't go in there right now. Gary is in the house. You have to wait until tomorrow when he's gone to work or something. That'll be too late. I have to go in tonight. He's got Carmen's pictures and who knows how many others. If I don't get them by tonight, he'll publish them. So tonight is the deadline. So, just call the cops. With no evidence? This is 2010, remember? The police won't take online bullying seriously without evidence. So I have to go in, okay? Okay, I guess. What is it that I'm after? I was watching Gary access his collection. It's stored on an external hard drive. That's your evidence. Okay. I'll go in. I'll get the hard drive. Job done. (sighs) Little sis, I didn't think you had it in you. My name's Amber. Can I come in and talk to you about God? You on your own? A pretty girl like you? Shouldn't you have a grown-up with you? We normally work in pairs, but my mentor is off sick. I'm training. Okay, then. Come in. You can tell me how I can be saved. I don't understand. How was Ryan able to visit Gary's house without Amber being there? I thought it was just a neurological link. I thought you'd read all the Sam Beckett reports. I did read them. I didn't say I understood them. So, can Ryan just visit anywhere in history? Any place? No. We can center him on different locations, but only within a certain radius of Amber. How big a radius? Five miles? Hundred miles? It's different each mission. It depends on how strong a fix we get on Amber. That varies because of the fluctuations in the quantum level accelerator. On this particular mission, we could probably put Ryan five miles away from Amber. I wouldn't like to try any further than that. Something else I don't understand. 
Amber's what? 30 years old? Maybe 40? 41. She'd probably be flattered that you underestimated. Okay. But she can only time travel within her own lifetime. That means she can't go back any further than 1979. So my question is, why didn't you choose someone older? Someone who could go back further? We didn't exactly choose Amber. We more sort of discovered her. Amber is special. Special? How? Her body produces certain proteins which are not listed in the Human Proteome Project. We don't know how or why, but those proteins are the key to safe time travel. We spent decades looking for someone who possessed them. That's why we haven't let anyone leap since Sam Beckett, until now. So as far as we know, Amber is unique. She's the only human being we know who can quantum leap without side effects and then come back safely. So what would happen if anyone else, if I, were to step into the quantum leap accelerator? <laughs> then you would find yourself leaping from life to life, hoping each time that the next leap would be the leap home. You're lucky to have found her. Yes, we are. I think you're very brave, knocking on complete strangers' doors, entering their homes. My teachers at church tell me that God wouldn't let anything bad happen to me. I'm not 100% sure I believe in that God, and neither should you. Have you considered any other career choices? Like, perhaps, modeling? I'm sure I haven't. Why? Are you proposing to photograph me? Lord, no. I don't have time for that. But if you take your own, or have some taken, send them to me. I'll give you my email address. I can make sure they get sent to the right people. That's very kind of you, mister. Do you mind if I use your bathroom? Not at all. It's upstairs. First door on the left. Great job, Amber. Now get that hard drive and get out of here. Sounds like a plan. Which way? It's in Gary's bedroom. Follow me. Here's the computer. Let's see. Press any key. It wants a password. What a surprise. Look, we don't have time for this. Forget trying to wake up the machine. Just unplug the USB drive. That's all you need. Okay, I'm on it. Done. This isn't the bathroom. I know. I'm sorry. I got lost. No, you didn't. You were snooping. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. I couldn't resist it. I just love looking around other people's homes. Look, I'll just go. I'll be on my way. Sorry to have troubled you. What did you just put in your bag? What? Nothing. Show me. Amber, you're going to have to run for it. I don't want to. Show me. You have the element of surprise. Why? Because you're 26 years older than he thinks you are. He's still seeing you as a 15-year-old. I'm not going to ask again. I'm going to kill you. He's got a knife. No! Quantum Leap, The Impossible Dream was created and written by Jill Arroway starring Tawny Finneran as Amber Lee and Juan Morrow as Ryan Lee, with special guest appearance by Jennifer Runyon as Carmen Cartwright, also starring Hayden McQueenie as Peter Taylor, Suzanne Smiley as Barbie Sutton, and Albert Mark Burge as Gary McFarlane. Episode 1, Need You Now, was edited, cast, produced, and directed by Albert Mark Burge. Narration by Suzanne Smiley. Quantum Leap, The Impossible Dream is produced in association with the Quantum Leap Podcast and is a Baron Space production. Wow, that was pretty good. Episode three. It's getting good. It's getting good. There's one more part to this story arc and uh, it's exciting. I know how it ends now, but I can't say anything.
Yeah, that's it's really cool. I never thought we'd be doing an audio drama from like the beginning of this project, but I I think it's really awesome. What did you think of my acting? I think you're amazing, but I'm probably biased. <laughs>